everyone, welcome back to Tribal News. I'm Janie and we're here to bring the green scene right to your screen. Today is election day. Participating in an election is a fundamental right and an opportunity to impact our community and future. This year is a presidential election year and voting is happening today. Many new voters have registered to vote, including students at Choctaw. Young people may change the future of America. In the past, younger people have voted at a lower rate than older people, but our generation has proven itself to be more politically active. Now let's hear from Mr. Stearns. Eighteen-year-olds, there's I, I guarantee you there's more eighteen-year-olds than there are sixty-five years old. You've got a lot of voting power, a lot of power behind the pulling of the lever. So if you could find a way to uh, engage your peers that are in your age group to get out there and vote, you could you could effectuate some really interesting change across this uh, across this great nation of ours. Voting is an opportunity for young people to take an active role in shaping their community and the world around them. Derek Garcia. Reese Overman. Order Ellis. Kimori Allen. Yes. 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 Scanning the QR code and sent you in the mail and signing up. You go to the tax collector's office and show ID and they let you know. I feel like it's a good thing and it helps our country. I think that it's very important for every American citizen. It means a lot because it helps with our financial and the economy, especially gas prices. That we are having a say in who runs our country. Uh, it means for the future of the U.S. and we all want to uh, run the country. The presidential election is today, November the 5th. And if you are 18, you have the ability to change the future of America. So be sure to vote because your vote matters. It's crazy to think that we will be the voice of our future. Let's get to know our students a little bit better with this week's Choctaw Chatter. Hi, I'm Isabella Burr, and I'm in 10th grade, and my favorite song is Try Our Best by Drake. My name is Kimari Allen. I'm a senior, and my favorite college football team is Ohio State. Go my name is Kennedy Heindel. I'm in 10th grade, and my favorite teacher is Miss Williams because she lets me go in her class during the free period and eat all her food. Um, my name is Kayla Carter. I'm in 10th grade, and what's my favorite game? Block Blast because it's fun and satisfying. My name is Will Eddington. I'm in 9th grade, and uh, my favorite song is probably uh, Houdini by Eminem. I love hearing all your opinions, Shock Doll. Now let's check in with this year's boys golf team. The Chalkahatchee boys golf team is under the guidance of Coach Lucy, who also teaches psychology here at Choctaw. With a passion for the game that began at the age of four, Coach Lucy brings a wealth of experience to the team. Freshman Braden Cheater has quickly made a name for himself, currently holding the number two spot on the team. Senior Jacob Monroe serves as the team captain and has dedicated all four years of high school to sharpening his golf skills. The players are buzzing with excitement as they gear up for the upcoming season. Their aim for the 24-25 season is to build on last year's performance and achieve even greater success. To cheer on Choctaw Golf Team, go be green. Let's kick things off with some exciting highlights and memorable moments from homecoming. Earlier before homecoming, we got to take a look at what some of our students are wearing for homecoming and what they're most excited for. Wow. I'm wearing blue to homecoming. Gray and yellow, black and pink. I'm wearing red for homecoming. And I'm wearing light blue. Um, probably green. The color I'm planning on wearing is pink. I'm going to wear all black. For homecoming photos, I'm wearing black, but I'm on court, so once I come to homecoming, I'm wearing black and white. Um, green. Taking pictures, you know, eating dinner, dressing up, and then like the after parties. Like. The thing I'm most excited for is the dances and the songs. I'm really ready to see like everybody in their dress and like see everybody put on. <laughs> to see the circle, that's all I'm gonna say. So I guess meet new people and have fun. Dinner. Uh, <laughs> going with my boys. Hope everybody enjoyed homecoming. Thank you for watching.
I can't wait for next homecoming season. A few weeks ago, Miss Ganey organized a fantastic setup in the library to celebrate Cultural Expressions Week. Let's take a closer look. Miss Ganey organized a Cultural Expressions Week to enhance students' understanding of various cultures. Teachers contributed a diverse array of items, artwork, and customs from around the globe, providing students with the opportunity to explore and appreciate the rich practices of different cultures. We also talked to Ms. Ganey on why she started this event for the students and what culture means. Hello, what is culture all about? And what are we doing? This is all about culture. It's about a combination of Hispanic Heritage Month, Native American Month, Columbus Day, and just recognizing all cultures. This is a display of examples of items from all cultures, African American, Native American, Hispanic, Asian, and Pacific Islanders, all inclusive. Culture is very important. It is who we are. It is what represents us and how we represent ourselves. So I wanted to share culture with not only my classes for Florida history, but cultures from around the world. Hopefully, uh, through this lesson, the students will have a global appreciation of all cultures. Thank you. Thanks for watching, Talk Doll.